Well, I'm so pleased to be here with you this morning, Mr. Toscano, even though you are not from Italy, but rather from Brazil, in the state of Minas Gerais, which I well remember as being Brazil's primary mining location. So welcome here to PDAC. Is this your first time here? Yeah, it's my first time here, but we are, uh, every year we have members from the company. We are a state-owned company uh, and we have members coming here for the past decade probably because it's the most important fair in the world. So we have to be here. Absolutely. Everybody who's everybody is here. So your company functions as the state economic development agency for Minas Gerais, is that correct? Is that, is it co completely correct. Uh, we are a company that holds the, that holds the Niobium there, or half of the Niobium mine there in the countryside of the state in a partnership with uh, CBMM a private company uh, we explore together. In fact, we rent our mineral rights to them and they explore and they commercialize all over the world and they pay for us for the renting 25% of the profits. And we use that profits to develop the, the state making investments in other minerals or even in the real estate, uh, uh, real estate market uh, and also uh, in private companies such as the CBL, the Compañía Brasileira, the Brazilian company for lithium, which we, we had one third of the stakes to try to develop the mineral markets there in Brazil. Well, niobium certainly is a very critical material because it's used to make steel stronger along with molybdenum. Exactly. The, you know that in the, this partnership began in 1972 and Niobium was not used, uh, even here in the States. When they export, it comes in the bag Colombo, because it's different uh, here, the, the, the way they uh, used to call. Uh, and there, so there was no market for, for Niobium. And CBMM, this private company, started developing its application in the steel, which makes their sales increase a lot all over the, uh, all over the time for the past uh, 15 years. And a couple of years ago, maybe more, they start to develop applications also to the battery for electric cars, electric vehicles. And they uh, are about to launch the first bus with this technology. But it's not a battery which goes with niobium, which the majority of people usually make this confusion. Uh, it's the, it's the, thing, the thing is that the niobium goes in the, in the bathroom with the lithium because you know more than me that uh, electric vehicles takes long to get charged yes. because lithium gets a uh, high temperature and may explode. And what niobium does, it keeps the temperature very low and you can charge the vehicle very, very fast. So for example, in this case of the electric bus, you can charge the electric bus in 10 minutes. Mm. Wow, that's amazing. So uh, that, that's the, the next upside. <laughs> Absolutely. Now that's going to be crucial as the industry builds itself out. I presume that that would also be true for the batteries used in the wind turbines. Exactly that, exactly that. So we are expecting to have a huge success in the future. And that's the reason we are here to, uh, to promote the Niobium and also to promote other minerals as we were talking before the interview. The state Minas Gerais means general mines because we have all kinds of minerals there. So uh, besides of the obium, we have the lithium, we have the iron ore, gold, so we are very strong on that. So you're also looking for some uh, companies to come and invest in the lithium space. Exactly that. As a state-owned company, what we are trying to do is developing a kind of marketplace because we know we have lots of investors all over the world looking for opportunities there. And we have the minerals there with lots of opportunities and we notice that they are not talking about this. And there is kind of a symmetry of information that we are trying to, to, to reduce and make uh, all the information cons uh, regarding the, the minerals more uh, suitable to investors, especially for those who are not uh, well connected to minerals because you know we have uh, licensing pro uh, problems you may have the national agency for mining uh, and you don't know if the right the mineral is okay or not if they have all the information so we are trying to 
uh, uh, to reduce the asymmetry in our formation by creating this marketplace. And by doing that, we are expecting to have more investors in all these kind of minerals. So I imagine that one of the things that you also do is to try to make the the process of obtaining the mining license as easy and quick as possible. How long does that normally take? Exactly. Not, not only the process, uh, the process to have mine involves the process to have the, the mineral rights at the Brazilian agency who is responsible uh, to provide it for the public company, but also for, for the environmental state agents to give the licensing for them to explore. Uh, sometimes you, you need water, so you also ha need an authorization of that. And, and in Brazil, we have to go in different places to get all those authorizations. So by creating this marketplace, you can also create a one-stop shop. And the investors, instead of doing this long journey to get the mining red, we just can help in them by being an agent to get all these licenses very quick, faster. And by doing that, developing the uh, economic the economic love of our state. So if, if you hit your ideal investor, what does your ideal investor look like? Uh, I think uh, that when you have investors that are, are already used to all the minerals and they, or they, or they have the support from different advisors, mineral advisors such as attorneys, uh, environmental companies, I think they are well attended. Uh, but what we notice is um, mining uh, is very profitable. Many companies, for example, we have some examples of companies who are exploring energy or agriculture, which are, we are very strong, and then they say, I want to move to mining, but they don't know what to do. Right. And they say, uh, what they're looking to do, oh, is that a place you can go look at this company, this economic development company, because they are not the one who are going to solve the problem, but they have all the solution and you make the contact to everyone and they can help you on, invest, on making your investment and of course the return of the investment. And is there a good return on the investment? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> we are doing good so far. <laughs> awesome. Well, I was so glad to meet with you today. I'm very I wish glad. you a very good yeah. time here at PDEC and good success. Thanks very much. It was a great pleasure to meet you, especially by knowing that you were there in Minas Gerais. In Minas Gerais. So if you are going again, uh, just let me know. <laughs> I definitely will do. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you.